Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Armstrong. Welcome to Cal Poly. Today is a great day to be a Mustang. We're really glad you're here. First, I want to say that the university is committed to fielding a championship football program. I don't think anything says that more than the upcoming construction of the John Madden Football Center. Over the past few years, we added Dora Field. This year, we added new turf at Mustang Memorial Field presented by Dignity Health. And we have plans for this fall for the north side of the stadium for a fan fest area in a new video board. So we are in it to win it, and we're in it for the long haul for football and all of our student athletes. These investments, along with the hard work of our student athletes and our coaching staff, will enable us to continue the climb. I had faith in our process last week. I had faith in our process yesterday, and I have faith in our process and our program today. We're dedicated to making continuous improvements in, in the weight room, in nutrition, and our off-season training. We are recruiting great student athletes. We simply need to enhance the development of our players on and off the field. Isn't that the essence of learn by doing? Once we were informed that our head coach was departing, Don, Keith, and I started to work on what is next, and everything led us to the same place, which is having continuity and finishing what we started. This is a very exciting time for all of us, and I'm excited to welcome our director of athletics, Don Oberhelman, to introduce our new football coach. Thanks, sir. Welcome everyone. I'm pleased to announce the elevation of Cal Poly's associate head football coach. Uh, please welcome our new head football coach, Paul Wolf. <laughs> Paul, is, uh, Paul is definitely the man for this job. He knows our roster inside and out. Uh, he knows our recruiting class. Uh, this knowledge and continuity will keep many of our student athletes out of the portal. The portal has become a big deal these days, and our best shot at keeping this quality recruiting class and our quality student athletes at Cal Poly is continuity. Continuity in players, continuity in our recruiting class, continuity in our assistant coaches, continuity in our terminology, our schemes, everything. That said, Coach Wolf will be making some changes of his own and how we do things as he's the leader of this program and the leader of these young men. He's got his own thoughts and ideas on how we can continue on the improvements. We have a lot of work ahead of us. As you heard our president, he's committed to fielding a nationally competitive, nationally ranked Division I football team. And in both the long term and short term, Coach Wolf gives us the best opportunity to accomplish these goals. Uh, I'd like to thank President Armstrong, uh, Vice President Humphrey, uh, many of our athletic staff who's helped with this process, uh, a number of our football alumni who are actively engaged in this. Uh, special thanks to Sherry Wolf. Uh, for her patience as we go through this, and we're glad she's here, and the entire family for their support of this endeavor. Uh, between his time at Eastern Washington and Washington State, Coach Wolf has a dozen years of head coaching experience. He's coached conference championship teams, Big Sky Players of the Year, 23 All-Americans, and coached in the Super Bowl. He's incredibly qualified. We were overjoyed when he joined our coaching staff three years ago. It's not often you can get a coach with his experience and his pedigree and having Paul on staff enabled us to have this succession plan in place. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our new head coach, Paul Wolf. start with thank yous obviously and uh, because I'm not thanking these people we're you know we're not in this situation as, as uh, I sit here um, obviously dr. Um, 
Jeff Armstrong, I, would, I, I want to thank him tremendously just based upon who he is as a person, what he's doing for this university. Um, I have not been around a president uh, so engaging, um, so trustworthy, uh, and so honest uh, when he speaks. Um, our athletic director, Don Overhelden, um, big fan. Uh, again, I've been at seven different universities, and I've never been in a situation where I've seen an athletic director and president uh, exist so well together and, uh, and true, have a true passion for football to move forward um, in a positive light. You know, they truly want to move the needle uh, of this place, this program, and to be part of that and have that kind of support is, is, uh, is something I've never been part of. And uh, with that kind of support moving forward, I just don't see how we will not have a tremendous amount of success. Uh, I'm very excited about what's in, in, uh, in store for us. Uh, obviously, the next thank you comes to my family, uh, my son Max, my son Sam, uh, daughter, uh, daughter Katie, who's not here with us today, and then my wife Sherry, who, again, uh, keeps us all together. Uh, and I am definitely not here without her and her presence uh, and her kicking me in the, the butt sometimes. Um, <laughs> You know, going through this process, and it was quick and fast, but it was not sh short of, um, of time. Uh, we, we went through a process uh, to discuss with, with our boosters, uh, some of our alumni, uh, to kind of go down a path of where we are today, what do we need to do moving forward, uh, and, and how do we get there. And um, I, will, I will say our boosters, our alumni here, um, have a tremendous amount of passion about wanting to do the right thing and wanting to help. Uh, and when you can put all these pieces together, like we have right now, um, great things are in store. And um, I cannot thank the boosters and the alumni, uh, anyone associated with uh, Cal Poly and Cal Poly football enough because good things are in store for us. Um, the one thing I want to say is um, what makes this situation so appealing is, you know, really the family that this place uh, represents the ability to walk recruits on campus and for them to be able to look around and see the people that are quality, the education that they can get, the opportunity to compete for championships and to live in the most beautiful place on the planet. And this is not a hard sell. Um, of all the places I've been, uh, I've, I've never been able to go to a place where really you just bring them here and then the, the place does the rest. It's the people, it's the environment, it's the education. All those things matter, all those things are impactful. Um, I'd also like to thank the John Madden family uh, and John Madden for their generous donation and to get the ball rolling um, to entice and to invigorate uh, Cal Poly alumni, uh, more people to get invested into this program. This is a, this place is a special place as we all know all right, and we are just starting. And we are very excited about what is in, in future with, with our players. And the thing I want to say and the commitment I can make to you is that our players will be extremely tough. We will outwork people. We will work very hard. We'll be dedicated. And we will develop a true grit about who we are and what we're all about. We will enforce our will on people throughout football games. And that is something that we've lacked, but we have the nucleus right now. These players. I cannot thank enough for their commitment going through the hard times that they have gone through. But I will tell you, they no longer will go through those hard times because what's in store for us this next year and the following years to come, I think people are going to be very excited to see. Um, with that, I can open up any kind of questions. Uh, Coach, obviously, you know, it's quick turnarounds. Uh, to be able to take handle of this program, you know, over the course of roughly 100 hours, I mean, how have you been able to process the fact that you know this is your program now to take over and, and how are you going to take over this quickly? Right. You know, when I've been in the position before and being part of this process th these last few years, I've always kind of in the back of my mind, you know, said this is what maybe I would do or do a little different or just being aware of what, what we're doing, you know, the ins and outs of what we have to operate with on campus, this, the student athletes, the weight training, the nutrition, you know, what do we do with parking, what do we do with housing, all those things are, are things I have a good feel for already. So I'm not overwhelmed by coming into a situation that I don't know anything about. And so um, to me, I can still just focus right now on our current athletes, knowing that how all those other things kind of operate. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. Very fortunate to be in-house that way, which allows you not to 
get too consumed with all these issues that pop up when you have a good feel for how things are running. Coach, obviously, the elephant in the room is this program was developing under Will Baldwin before he left. Mm -hmm. uh, now you kind of take over in an era where you know still winning is a priority here. Mm -hmm. So how do you get this team to go from the struggles that y'all have had for the past couple of years and find a way to build a winning program here rather immediately? Right. Well, I, I think that um, if you look at our last past season, um, you know, we ended up winning two games. There was three that very easily could have went our way. Uh, and then you couple that with losing a, a tremendous amount of football players to injuries that were season ending or long term. And, uh, you know, when you, when you put that together with a, a youthful foot, football team, it's just really hard to have enough young players with experience to step in and to compete. And if you look at our conference right now, we have several teams that are in the fi you know, final stages of the playoffs. Big Sack Conference is a very strong uh, conference right now. Um, those are very experienced veteran football teams that are making these runs. We're not at that spot right now. Um, our spot is, is we're a little more youthful. We're going to get some guys back healthy, and we're going to you know, handle nutrition, and we're going to get in the weight room, and we're going to develop our bodies so we now will be able to compete, match up, and pot potentially exceed our opponents moving forward. And you mentioned recruiting kind of enables itself here, but the, the transfer portal is now a, a massive part of this game. Uh, yep. How do you take advantage of the transfer portal and, and make it something that's a strength here at Cal Poly? Well, we need to become a destination, and and where athletes, when they do come here, they realize the quality of education they're getting, and they're playing for a top-end football program to where they don't want to leave, first and foremost. And right now, with what we have planned moving forward, all right, that's going to be the case moving forward. Um, I think that there'll be opportunities at the right time for us to reach out and bring in athletes that we may need at certain positions based on depth or something like that. And so I think we have to have our eyes open and ears um, you know, uh, out there to hear what's going on um, and be aware of the portal. Um, but I don't believe we are going to be in a situation where we're going to live by that like a lot of people are doing. Um, it's, it's not, to me, the way you can truly build a program that's sustainable. We want to win games. We want to be in a position to compete for playoff and national championships and conference championships and all those things. You just don't do it with transfers because you'll never get the continuity uh, the team camaraderie that you need to make those types of runs. Coach, uh, Dave Alley with News Channel 12. Congratulations uh, on, on the job. Thank you. Um, Don mentioned about change. Now, there, even though you are in-house, there will be some changes. So what, if any, can you talk about some changes that perhaps you can talk publicly yeah. that you might, might uh, bring here? Well, I, I think um, just our approach schematically a little bit will be a little bit different. And what I mean by that on offense and you know, you know, we're going to be very balanced in our schemes. We're going to want to be a very physical football team. Um, so, so some of that is play design. Some of that is just philosophy and, and emphasis of what we want to do. Um, and same thing on defense. You know, there'll be some things on how we practice uh, will be different. Um, how we train is it, it will be a little bit different. An emphasis of what we're trying to get focus uh, focus on with uh, our our improvement physically. Um, so those are some of the things we'll do. Um, there's more to it, but um, I've always, you know, let's be real, I'm a lineman at heart, and, um, and I believe that uh, to win football games at a high level, um, there has to be a physicality about who you are as a program, and you see the teams that are competing continuously, that's what they, are, that's what they have. And, and I believe that we're headed that way, we're not there, but we're working our way and we will get there. In terms of defense, no, no secret, they definitely struggled this year. Mm -hmm. What do you see moving forward and how you get that kind of correct? Because there's a very proud tradition, as you know, of years past of a strong defense here at Cal. Yeah, you, you know, we, uh, we lost a tremendous amount of players. If you looked at our game early on against Fresno State, there were some signs of some extreme physicality against Fresno State with our defense. We did some really good things in that game. And then all of a sudden, the injuries start, started to hit. Uh, we were at times starting four true freshmen in the secondary um, and, and uh, a couple uh, freshmen, true freshmen in the defensive line. And it's just too hard when you get in that situation when there's too many players playing uh, the amount of reps in a game they really shouldn't be. They're not ready for that physically and or mentally. Um, and, and we struggled. And at times we struggled on offense that really put even more pressure on our defense. So we didn't, we didn't play complimentary football at times. Um, those are things we'll do that will help both sides of the, uh, of the line. Last thing, David, which one are you at CFAC? Go um, what did you uh, learn at the national football level that you can bring here at Cal Poly specifically? You know, um, 
That's a good question. I, I just think that uh, the maturity the, and the professionalism that the players have, and you know, and so many young young student athletes obviously have a goal to be able to move on to that level. Um, and, and those guys, you know, take things seriously, and uh, there's not a lot of goofing around. And so if we can kind of pass that mentality to our players, and we have the mindset and we have like-minded young men that can grasp that, but it, when they ha understand how you have to perform as a professional and how you have to operate on a daily basis as a professional, um, that'll really elevate their play and put them in the best position to be the best that they possibly can be. Thank you. Uh, Matthew, how was Slow Tribune? Um, so there was a pretty quick turnaround with announcing this job. So like, what, are there any rules surrounding like um, how long you took to leave the job for and how are you able to come to the decision so quickly? Well, the, obviously, I didn't make the decision, but, but, and, and you know what? If I did, it would have happened immediately. But it, it, to me, it was plenty long, and my wife and kids were just plenty long. But, and, um, you know, I, I, I think, that, you know, um, when you look at our situation, and, 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 and when Dr. Armstrong and, and everybody came in here to uh, try to invigorate the program and, and build this program up and they hired Bo Baldwin a few years ago. There was a plan put in place which, the, which they've done and really we're just keeping it moving forward because even though the wins may not look like there's a lot of progress, trust me, internally the progress is there and it's just a matter of time as the progress continues to grow internally that you're going to see it. The last thing you're going to see, to be honest, when you're building a program, unfortunately, are multiple wins on Saturdays. Okay, there's a lot of things that have to go into it to get to that point and, um, and I think that's the reason why they were able to, the, the, these, uh, these men saw that and saw that's the direction where we're headed and they wanted to stay the course. Yeah, uh, and you talk a lot about just like, for some, like the continuity um, that like a kind of an in-house hiring kind of brings. Um, so, but you also brought, you want to make some changes in the program. So what kind of changes are you looking for um, going into the <coughs> Yeah, we, you know, first of all, from our, our coaches and our players, um, you know, we'll reassess after this quarter, you know, our roster and, and who's here, which the majority of all our players are. And there are already a couple open spots on our, our coaching staff just because of uh, one coach left already and then Coach Baldwin also left. Uh, we have another uh, young coach that has moved on in his career. So we have some natural spots open. And so that's something that we can fill in time and, and we will do so. Okay. Um, and then last question here. So did you kind of see like a framework of like, how this team can excel um, at this level this, this past season and how are you going to carry that into to next year? I think the biggest thing is, is we went into the season um, with our starters who were really relatively inexperienced, but you could see the talent and the, and the promise. Um, and we just were not deep enough yet overall in our program. And when we suffered some injuries, um, we just didn't have enough experience and, and maturity behind those players that got injured to come in and uh, play like we all want them to play. Um, they played their tails off. Uh, uh, these guys are fighters, and they do not quit. The, the, the nucleus in the, these players, I'm very proud of. These are the kind of young men you want to go to battle with. And um, as they mature and they, they get more and more comfortable, you're going to see that fight that they showed this year. You're going to see it at a lot higher level. And that's, that's the biggest thing I could say is I'm so excited about the fight and the competitiveness of these young players we have in this program. Uh, Coach, another question for me. Um, there's no doubt everyone wants to see a, a full span of stadium. Besides, obviously, winning games, what, what can you do to bring fans in? What kind of community outreach, engagement um, do you think you know you might do, or the team, right. or, or whomever, to, to really get that place full and you know home field advantage for you guys? Yeah, I, I mean that's a great question. I mean, what can you do? I think I think being out in front of people and explaining our situation and, and showing that we've got a quality product that they can come and watch a game. I mean, there is no better setting. Uh, pre-game tailgate that I could, could imagine. I mean, you can come here just for an event and, um, in itself and, and then you get an opportunity to watch a football game with it. So, you know, for people to really understand that, and we want to bring the energy as a football team and, and that's what we have to do. But I will be out there uh, in the community as much as possible. Uh, I have no problem talking to people and, and showing, showing people the product we put in, you know, we're going to have. And uh, to me, it's just public relations and um, getting people on board. And, and uh, it is our job, though, as coaches and, and players to provide a product that people are excited about. And um, that's where our focus is going to be. And we do believe we're going to provide that. And I think you'll see the fans uh, come in as well. And then, yeah, sorry, Dusty. Uh, Dr. Armstrong had pointed out the new Madden Center. I think there's a new fan 
uh, section of the plaza coming in, new video board, all that, all the stuff that goes, you know, uh, beyond just the, the players and all that. How is that going to help all that, going to help bring in more players, create more winning, more fans, et cetera? Well, I, I think w whenever you show growth and whenever you show, um, you know, a trajectory that's moving upward, I think uh, people want to be part of that. And, and our recruits are seeing that. Uh, without a doubt. Um, our current players have done a tremendous job recruiting high school players as we speak. Uh, and, and that's a big asset. When you have people, uh, young men in your program that feel good about where they are and what they're doing, and then they're out there helping bring in new players, that's a great sign. And that's what we have going right now. And so we just got to continue that. And, um, and I think those, those things of growth from facility standpoint, the current players, when you see those things out there, they have an impact on recruits when they come on campus. Coach, you haven't been a head coach since 2011. You're, you're back in this role. Uh, you know, we can talk all about the future, but just right now in this moment, what, what does this moment mean to you? Well, I'm blessed. You know, blessed to be back in a situation where uh, for a number of years I've uh, been preparing myself for this. You know, I will say the last time I was a head coach, I, I wanted multiple years away from doing it again. I needed to get away. I needed to learn. Um, absorb as much football and people that I could across the country and I've been across the country coaching um, but I always knew if I haven't ever had an opportunity to be a head coach again I wouldn't do it to do it I'd do it only to place I felt we could uh, perform at the highest level and um, I've and I you know I, I interviewed for this job three years ago um, and I did it because I knew that this place can be special and uh, and this was the, one of the few places in my opinion out there um, that you can take somewhere and take it to a whole different level and I love the I love the uh, the the building of something I've always been that that's just that's just who I am I, I love watching the growth I like the challenges I don't mind the noise at times we need to grow we need to build that is very very rewarding to me I like these challenges and coach one more question for me Cal Poly in the past, you know, has won conference championships, been ranked top 10, top five, NFL players, all that. Can you do it here again? Bring Cal Poly back into uh, national prominence. Oh, I, absolutely. You know, it, uh, like I said, like I just said, this, this place has all the all the things you want, and um, to do that, and uh, we're going to be there. Uh, I'm not sure how quick, but it's going to be quicker than a lot of people think. We're, we're going to be in a position to be very, very successful. We we're got a great head start with some phenomenal young players in our football program, and our facilities uh, improvements, um, and then you offer the education that this place does. Boy, it's it's a hard place to pass up. Anything else? Okay, so the media will have Coach Wolf up here okay. uh, to take pictures if we want to get some more pictures. <coughs> yeah, big round. You know, talking about the past, we had, interestingly enough, one of the games, we had quite a few of our 2012, 2013 team here. And they were up, up talking. We were celebrating the accomplishment in 2012 and what they had done then. But they also talked about what Cal Poly has done for them and what they're doing now in their lives in that degree. And that's why I think we've got a, an amazing learn by doing coach. Uh, coupled with these amazing young student athletes that we have. We're proud of you, what you've accomplished this year, how hard you worked, and I'm so excited about it. And I told Coach earlier today, I said, all these questions today are going to be easy compared to his interview yesterday. He had you know, John Ronka here, the head of our uh, athletic council, and Ted Tolner, Mike Madden, all throwing him, throwing him questions yesterday, and, and he did well then, and he did well today. It's a great day to be a Mustang. Thank you for being here today. Thanks so, so much of our Cal Poly family being here and so many of our alumni and boosters and supporters. And thank you to the media. And let's go Mustangs.